This is the solution video for question 7 from paper 2 of the 2019 TMUA or CTMUA exam. In this question, we're given the fact that 12 squared plus 16 squared is 20 squared. And we're going to be given a list of statements and we're asked for which of these statements can this fact be used to make or produce a counterexample. So statement A. If A, B and C are positive integers, satisfying a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so i.e. a, b, c are Pythagorean triple, and a, b, c have no common divisor, then two of the numbers are odd and one is even. b, the equation a to the 4 plus b squared equals c squared has no solutions for which a, b, c are positive integers. Statement c, a to the 4 plus b to the 4 equals c to the 4, has no solutions for a, b, c positive integers. And D, it states if a, b, c are positive integers which satisfy a squared plus b squared equals c squared, i.e. a, b, c are Pythagorean triple, then one of these numbers is the arithmetic mean of the other two. So let's look at all these statements in turn. So let's look at statement A first. So statement A, well, what do we need for counterexample for statement A? We need positive integers satisfying uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared and a, b, c having, n having no common divisor. And then we need it to be the case that two are odd and one of them even isn't true. So let's look at 12, 16, 20. Well, these have a common factor of 4. So this certainly can't be a counterexample for A. However you'll notice that we can divide everything through by 4 and then they won't have a common factor and 3, 4, 5 is a well-known Pythagorean triple. So if we consider 12 over 4, 16 over 4 and 20 over 4, we have 3 squared plus 4 squared is 5 squared. So maybe this is a counterexample. It certainly satisfies the first condition that a squared plus b squared is c squared and 3 and 4 and 5 don't have a common divisor. However, 2 are, two are odd and 1 is even, well, that is true. So it certainly isn't a counterexample because it agrees with what statement A says. So from statement A, there, there's no easy way that we think that we can make a counterexample. So let's move on. So statement B, what would a counterexample look like for state B, statement B? Well, it would simply be A, B and C so that this equation holds with A, B, C positive integers. So what we have is this, 12 squared plus 16 squared is 20 squared, which clearly isn't a counterexample in itself, because nothing to the power of 4. However, the key is to notice that 16 is a square number, right? So if we substitute in 16 for 4 squared, we might get somewhere, because we'll have a power of 4 then, and indeed, we do, because we get 4 squared, squared is just 4 to the 4. And if we let a is 4, b is 12, and c is 20, we see... We have a, b, and c, so this equation holds, and we have a counterexample to b. So we could happily here conclude that the answer is b, but for the sake of completeness, we'll have a look at c and d and show we can't build a counterexample for them. So now looking at statement c, this is the fact we have 12 squared plus 16 squared is equal to 20 squared. Uh, but to have hope of finding a, b, and c as a counterexample, we, we need every number here to be a perfect square. 16 is because it's 4 squared but 20 and 12 are not and so we're not going to build a, a counterexample to this. Uh, the other reason we won't be able to find a counterexample to this is the fact that this statement is true. It's a very simple case of Fermat's last theorem if, if you've heard of it. Uh, statement D, well what would a counterexample look like? We need a, b, c positive in integers which satisfy a squared plus b squared is c squared where none of them are the arithmetic mean of the other two. So the example we've got, 12, 16, 20, we know 16 is 20 plus 12 over 2. So 16 is the arithmetic mean of 20 and 12, so that means that we don't have a counterexample to D. And similarly, if we scale this to get uh, other Pythagorean triples, the fact we divide our times each number by the same amount means that still one of the numbers will be the arithmetic mean of the other two. For instance, if we use 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, like we derived when we looked at A, 
you'll note that 4, which corresponds to what 16 was, is still equal to 5 plus 3 over 2. So we're never going to produce counterexample to D with this fact. And so going back, we've now checked that our answer is certainly B. So B is our result.